Hello everyone, and welcome to Damien's Reviews. Tonight, it's a craft beer review. I'm doing Dogfish Head's 75-Minute IPA. Alright, so this one was introduced in 2011. It's a off-centered combination of the 60-Minute IPA and the 90-Minute IPA. So it's a seasonal release. It only comes out at a certain time of the year. So it is 7.5% alcohol, 75 IBUs, and it's an ale brewed with maple syrup. And the maple syrup is from Massachusetts. So I was looking here on the website, and I cannot find the malt or hop varieties. Okay. So I've had the 60-minute IPA, and I've had the 90-minute IPA, but I've never had the 75, so this is going to be the first time of me trying it. I thought the 60 mil was kind of, eh, run of the mill, dime a dozen. I gave it like an 80 out of 100, but the Imperial IPA I thought was excellent. I gave it a 97 out of 100, so I'm expecting this to be in like the upper B to lower A range, but we'll see. I already uh, popped the top. I let it warm, so let's go ahead and dive in and get in the review. As you can tell, super thick white head. Um, there's a lot more haze to this one as compared to the uh, Highland Brewing's AVL IPA. Yeah, you can definitely see lots of sediment. And it's like a deep golden, like a medium orange color. Yeah, like deep golden, medium orange, and it looks very appealing. Like for the style, fits it very well. It's gonna go with the aroma. I can smell the maple syrup in this. Um, there's an excellent hop action going on. There's also some breadiness, like some white bread, white bread crust. There's even like a sweet Hawaiian roll breadiness. Um, you can definitely detect malt, some malt sweetness. Um, it's a little peculiar malt sweetness, but it is balanced. I will say like, it's not more hop forward in the aroma or more malt forward. It's very well balanced. Like everything presents itself very well and well balanced, which I like that. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. Cheers. Mmm. All right. Right off the bat, this is an IPA I'm very impressed with. So, up front, you get a great hop action. It's not like super hop forward, but up front, there's definitely a great hop action going on. Piney, earthy, and a little uh, citrusy, woodsy. Then in the middle of the taste, you get... Um, the maple syrup, and then you taste the malt sweetness in the middle with this one. Usually with IPAs, the malt goes more towards the end. Well, with this one, the malt presents itself more in the middle of the taste with the maple syrup. So, now you get the maple syrup, but there's also a little, little peculiarity with the malt. It complements the maple syrup, but it's like a sweetness, but it's a little roasty, like a little bit of like a like a caramel malt sweetness. They might use caramel malt with this. I don't know. Like I couldn't tell what the uh, malt or hop varieties were, but it's got a little roastiness, a little like 
carameliness, which complements the uh, maple sweetness. Then in the end, yeah, definitely bready, white bread, white bread crust. And there's even a little sweet Hawaiian roll action going on with this one. And then to finish it all up, it is very crisp, clean, refreshing, super dry, and has a very snappy presentation. The body and mouthfeel on this one is definitely medium. So how would I rate this one? Well, this one is unique and has more peculiarities to it, which differentiate it from your typical run-of-the-mill IPA. So we're getting out of the B range, like the lower B range to like high C range. We're going more up into the A range with this one. This one I'm filling a 95 out of 100. A solid right in the middle A. It is well balanced. It does have its own little peculiarities to it. And it does present itself ahead of the typical run of the mill IPAs. So, in all honesty, you better believe if I see this again, you better believe I'm going to buy it. This is an IPA I can dig. Even though I'm not an IPA guy. So what does that tell you? You see it, buy it, try it. Whether you see it in cans, bottles, draft, pick it up, buy it, try it. I think you'll love it. Yep, I'm definitely going to stick with a solid 95 out of 100. A solid middle of the road A. So, there's my review. Hope you all enjoyed, and as always, you all have an excellent one, and cheers.